Welcome to today's video. So today I'm planning out the week of Monday, December 21st through Sunday, December 27th. That is the week of Christmas. And I am so excited to just like go Christmas crazy on these pages over the next, I don't know, however long this video is, but I really enjoy doing uh, what I titled the ultimate Halloween spread. And so this, I'm gonna try to do the same thing with like the ultimate Christmas spread. Just put as many Christmas stickers as I can on these two pages and we'll see how it turns out. So here's what I'm going to be using today. This is kit 19, I believe. Yep, from Sammy Doodle Designs. It is the most Christmassiest, is that a word? Christmassiest thing I've ever seen. Um, I think it's called Mr. and Mrs. Claus, but we've got some you know, boxes and appointment labels, sidebar stuff here, date covers in washi, thin washi, thick washi. I've got like all of the things. Like how cute is that? Full boxes and some extra appointment labels with this one. And I'm going to see if I can use as many um, full boxes as I can this time, just because I don't have as many appointments happening next week. There's definitely plenty to do, just not as many appointments. So it should leave me some space for some more decorative stuff. And then this page that's more like a sampler with the weekend banner. Look at that thing, that's so cool. And um, some additional washy things like that, scripts, etc. So I'm really excited to use that but I'm not done. So I'm also gonna need to be supplementing with some additional Sammy Doodle stickers. I love these Christmas colored coffee cups that came as a freebie. These are some snowflakes. I've already been plucking off of them for some other things, but I think I'm going to try to sprinkle those in as well. These are foil. I'm not usually a foil person as far as like what I gravitate towards, but I think that if ever there was a occasion for foil, it is Christmas. Got my countdown stickers. I want to continue with those. These are the Paddington stickers. So look, he's like dressed up as Elf. He's got presents, he's Christmas tree, and he's hanging out with a cup of cocoa or coffee, it looks like. So those are super fun. I've already snagged one of them, but I'm excited to uh, maybe sprinkle a couple of those in as well. Loving this sheet. All the things on here are just so cute. And then here, I've never done like the foil overlay, but I'll see if it works out. I don't know if it will, like, like I've never done that. So I'll give that a shot. And these are formatted for the eight and a half by 11. So how awesome is that? Okay, cool. Still not done. So I also have some leftovers from my December Plum Paper subscription as well that I might be able to add in as well. So these are some boxes, got some washi. I think this is actually meant for the monthly page. I didn't use it for that. Um, and then also I have some stickers here from that as well. So if some of these fit in, I might use those too. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the washi as per usual, and then we will go from there. looking super duper cute. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually put the weather because we are really hoping for a white Christmas living in Minnesota. It's something that's usually like 
a given, but we have not had really any snow lately and it's kind of weird. So I'm gonna put the weather up here. Last I checked, we were anticipating that it should snow on Wednesday, I believe. So we're just like tracking that and hoping that that will actually occur. But yeah, I really just wanna put the weather in. I don't always do it, but I think this week is good. I've got the space for it and I really want to know what it's looking like and remember, because um, the kids are definitely looking forward to that. So we got 37, 25, 37, 28, yikes, and then 34, 1 as the low. So cloudy, cloudy, and then snow, hopefully. I did pick these up from Sammy Doodle as well, these weather stickers, and I just think they're totally adorable. So, like I said, unfortunately cloudy the first couple days of the week here. And hopefully snow on Wednesday. So I'm just gonna flip it and do the same thing for Thursday and Friday. I'm not gonna go into the weekend because I've already covered that and also it's so far out that it probably won't be accurate anyway. I really love these little candy cane box stickers. They're so cute. Now, I guess I don't know which one to choose because it's my mine is like half and half on my Apple Watch looking. So it looks like this is, you know, more sunny than cloudy, which I think is really cool distinction. And then more cloudy than sunny. This one looks more like what the what the icon is on my watch. So I'm going to use this one, but um, I think you could easily use either depending on your weather situation. All right, that is looking amazing. So the other thing I wanna do is, all right, I got distracted. So I noticed this thin washi and I think it would cover this, this little like gap here. So I'm gonna put those in and then I'm gonna go in with the, like my cleaning tasks. I talked about that in my last video, but I'm trying like a new weekly cleaning routine. And so far I am liking it, but it's definitely taking me more than 10 minutes a day. Like the idea is that you do 10 minutes a day and then your house stays awesome. But that has not been my experience yet. Like I'm doing the routine from the book, but it's taking me like 30 to 45 minutes. And I'm hoping that maybe the more I do it, it will, you know, get easier. But right now, Right now it is definitely taking me a long time to do it. So we'll see, hopefully at some point I get to like maintenance level and it's not as dirty as it was. Um, but yeah, right now it's still a struggle. So I'm curious if you do a cleaning routine, does it get any easier or is this just kind of, maybe it's I'm slow. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, that looks freaking amazing. Okay, so after that little detour, let's go ahead and put in um, the kind of weekly cleaning things that I have. So flip back to the first side. And I know I do a lot of flipping, sorry if that bothers anyone watching this, but um, this planner is just so huge. I really can't have it full spread and be able to like get into it, if that makes sense. Okay, so this one, I'm just gonna put it maybe like in this 730 kind of thing to give it a little breathing room with that washi. I'm just gonna put these going on straight across here. But I've also been watching a lot of uh, Clean With Me videos and I have to tell you that is like the most satisfying thing to watch someone else clean. <laughs> it's like crazy satisfying. I watch like hours of it. It's ridiculous. And I think I'm watching it kind of partly for, um, I cannot write and talk apparently, <laughs> partly for um, the satisfaction of it, but also like I'm trying to get better at cleaning because we're home all the time and I'm like sick of our house. So I've been definitely looking for tips as well as again, just the satisfaction motivation in watching someone else clean. So if you have any favorite clean with me channels, let me know. Cause I'm always looking for something new. 
to watch. Okay, and then they have Friday as on this cleaning checklist thing. Friday is more of a catch-all day. And then I'm gonna put one more appointment label here for the sheets and bedding. And then that's kind of a day off. I think it's technically sheets and towels. I don't have the book in front of me, so we're just gonna run with it. And today is Saturday and I'm proud of myself because I actually do have sheets and towels in the wash right now. So feeling pretty good about, about that. All right, next I'm gonna go in with some routine things, which for me is like trash and what else? Meal planning, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna pop those in this kind of evening space here. I don't think we really have anything much going on in the evening this week as far as like actual plans go. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful, a beautiful week in continued social distancing. So we're not really doing anything. Plus it's a holiday, so we're mostly gonna spend a lot of time inside. All right, so here is meal planning. And then here, I do have a sticker for trash and recycle day from Sammy Doodle as well. Our trash and recycle does, or our recycle alternate. So we do trash every week, every, every week, every week. Um, and then every other, it's Tuesday morning when the trash comes, um, but every other, then we have recycling. And let me tell you, we need it. Our recycling is overflowing. So I definitely don't want to forget this. Before I forget, I do need to go grocery shopping on Wednesday, so probably that'll be about here, eh, maybe 4.30, we'll see. Um, but we need to get the rest of the stuff for our holiday meal, and I've just noticed that when I order groceries, it's like hit or miss. These are Sammy Doodle as well, super cute. Um, but for like a holiday meal, I wanna go and actually get stuff myself, and so I'm just gonna stick this guy in here and remind myself to actually go grocery shopping. That's probably backwards, right? I should probably play meal plan before I grocery shop, but it's fine. This paper is removable. I might move it later, but right now I just don't wanna mess with it. So that looks fine. Um, what else? Okay, so I think that, all right. The other routine thing is I like to do um, some planning on Saturday, like I'm doing right now. It's, it really depends. It's either Friday after work or Saturday morning whenever I get around to it but I'm going to use one of these full boxes and just put some like planner time here on Saturday morning. And that way, if I don't get to it Friday evening, because that's Christmas. So yeah, this is more likely for this week that it will be on Saturday. I'll just kind of mark that off. And I think I have a plan. Yeah, I do have a plan next week. This is simply Smith stickers. I don't want to mess up my Christmas countdown. So I'm actually going to start on Christmas Eve and go backwards. So this is one day till Christmas would be Christmas Eve. So I'm going to stick this guy here. So that's one day till Christmas and then I'm going to go backwards. So I think that's it for the routine stuff. Um, let me check and see if I have anything going on that's like Work-wise, I don't think I have a lot of work meetings next week. I think it's a little bit slower for meetings, so that'll be a good time to catch up on some admin stuff. But I do have, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to use um, this. I do have a couple days off, so I'm going to add those in and then also add in work, like a work strip. I think that I have room to do like when work is starting each day, so that'll be, that will be good. And for that, I think I'm going to use these little gingerbread guys. So it's probably gonna be about eight, eight to four-ish is what I'm thinking, probably next week. And that's just the first part of the week here. Here's this work sticker from the kit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move this because I want it to go straight across. So I think Sam at Sammy Doodle has a couple 
sticker paper options. If you do the removable, they come off so easy from the plum paper or paper look. It's like not a big deal at all. So look at <laughs> the hot mess. Okay, let's do like kind of 430-ish straight across. And then we'll put grocery shopping after that. Oh, I still did it backwards, look at me. Meal plan. And then grocery shopping. Okay, Wednesday's gonna be, gonna be busy with meal planning, vacuuming. Our house has a ton of carpet, so it always takes me, that, probably, that day probably takes me the most as far as like time-wise to vacuum everything. So meal planning, grocery shopping, vacuuming all after work. And then actually on my lunch break, I'm going to pick up our Christmas ham from Honey Baked Ham. So let's do maybe just this green one. Pick up ham. All right, here's how we're looking so far. Next, I'm gonna go in with um, I'm actually gonna put in some stickers for Christmas day, lots of other decorative stuff, and then see what we're looking like once all of the Christmas magic is sprinkled in. I went a little bit overboard, but I love this so much. I cannot even tell you. Um, it just looks like Christmas went crazy all over these pages and I totally, totally love it. I used all of the December deco sheets and I used all of the foiled snowflakes. I used the thick washi. I used most of the thin washi. Um, all the full boxes, which I've never done in any kit ever, but I think this looks so good and so festive and I am super ready for Christmas. It just looks so super ready. Um, at first I was like, well, I just want to put snow on the first day of winter and then on the day that it's supposed to snow. And then I'm like, no, we're just gonna, we're just going for it. So, oh my gosh, I am so, so excited for Christmas. I hope that you have a happy and safe holiday wherever you are. Thank you so much to Sam for all of these gorgeous stickers by Sammy Doodle Designs. If you wanted to shop Sammy Doodle, she is on Etsy. And if you use Bethany 10, you can get 10% off your order. And then if you mention me in the comments at checkout, there is a really sweet freebie with that as well. So totally encourage that. Um, yeah, otherwise, hope you have a, like I said, safe and happy holiday. Merry Christmas and happy holidays and a happy new year, which I think yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys before then, but hope you have a good one and uh, we will chat soon. Bye guys.